Hi, this is Gary with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. So where has freedom brought us? Tennessee, city of Jellico, which is literally right on the Tennessee-Kentucky border. In fact, we're only 12 miles from Williamsburg, Kentucky. So we are at Indian Mountain State Park. Indian Mountain right there. We are staying here for six days. So we're going to do a little review while we're here. So, let's get reviewing. Okay, so here we are entering the park. And off to our right, there's a little park for kids to play on. It's got a playground down there, some picnic tables. Nice green space yeah, going back just, that way. Let's walk down that little board, that little stairs there. So here's the main office. But, uh, if you know your site, you just go to your site. They have maps here at this store. And there's little ponds and lakes all around. Yeah, little creeks and... I guess it's creeks. They're not clear, though. So, if we look off to our right, you will see B Pavilion 3 coming up. Right over that bridge is called the Ballard Lake Trail. It's a uh, three-quarter mile loop. And then if you turn into this little area here to our left, which I'm going to turn into, there is a paved one-mile walking trail here with a playground. So there's another playground here, picnic tables, pavilion, and heads up, while we were here, we encountered a lot of ducks and a lot of geese. For those of you with two dogs like our two dogs, Tara and Luna, that like to get excited with wildlife. Yeah, there's a basketball court. Straight ahead there, you can see from this point the campground will be there in a minute. They have paddle boats. A little boat for rentals up there. If you look out to our right, you will see the geese. I will say our girls are better, our dogs. There's a lot of geese out here today. I don't know if they'd handle this too well. Let's just say we've only been on this loop once. There's some horseshoes. Nice playground right here. There's three playgrounds, right? Four. We saw one coming in and here's one here. There's one in the campground and there's one just beyond that. So this is this little area of the, uh, right before you get into the campground. Now the campground itself is only one loop and if uh, my assistant will look at the map in front of her we will know how many campsites it is. Goes up to 48. 48. That's a nice little entrance here. And they have little markers on these trees on some of the trees telling you what the trees are. In case you've ever been out walking and say huh what kind of tree is that? Which we do all the time. <laughs> know what that is so we're going over a little bridge here here's some water off to the right one of the creeks here and there is a trail that Ballard Lake trail goes around this little creek area through the woods And as far as dog walking, you've got the trails, which aren't very long, but you've got all of this green space and along the road. We've walked out in here. There's it, a lot of nice grassy open, uh, not open area, but area to walk on. That goes out to a road and we then loops back around into the back of the campground. We'll show you that in a minute. 
So there you go. From the road. The Indian Mountain. Let me inch up a lake. second. Over there. My finger going the right direction. Uh-huh. Somewhere over there. There you go. Right there it is. That's a camp store. Mm-hmm. And a playground next to it. We're going to go that way, though. Right. Here we are at the campground. One way, do not go that way. Bathrooms. Looks like a little ranger's office, maybe. Okay, go stop right here. Oh, Right here, we're gonna make a little left. Camp store, gift shop. It says I saw dipping dots. Ice cream. <laughs> and there's another view of the lake. A bird out there. Very beautiful setting here. Pavilion number two. And a playground. As you can see, there's a lot of grassy area. See the trees here? There's water to our left. More water. And if we were to go to straight, you would leave the park. But right up there, there's another small trail called the Boy Scout Trail. Also, that is a very sparsely traveled road right there, and we've walked our dogs along the road. There's plenty of room on the side of the road. Yeah, walk you can walk dog. down that road, and there's actually a bridge down there that you can get on and go back into the campground. Right. Nothing is very far. No. I see a couple of campers coming in. One there, one up there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go back and do the loop. The campground loop now. Green area over here to our left. So, ready, set. Here we go. Okay, there's a lot of people setting out. This is definitely a howdy neighbor campground. Well. So I'm gonna try to respect people's privacy and but also show you. There's 14 and right next to it's 15. You see they're pretty close together. 14, 15, and 16. One thing we've noticed here is the the Picnic tables are just a little awkward. There's 26 right there to my left. 26. Here's 27 right there. And see, that's more normal. The picnic table, if that's their picnic table. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. There's 30 right here. I wonder if our arm is in their way. 33 is right there. Okay, right here is 35. See how those picnic tables are off to the back? That's what I'm talking about. Right next to that is 36, and they have some nice green space, and there is a creek back there, or a little body of water. 
37? Uh, I'm not sure. They're not. It's 38. There's 39, 39 over here. 39. It, the, there's 41 right there. Right there is site 45. It's, and you see their picnic table is kind of off behind them there. On my right coming up is 47 and on my left is 46. These are the last, there's a 48 on the left. And that's an ADA site there. Yeah, this is a, just an ADA site. Nice pad. There's another one over here too. That's really nice. So there's the lake as you're coming around the campground. Right there. And to the right here are some nice we think nice sites that have some nice lake views. And we'll tell you what those numbers are. Okay, like this site right here, site number three. That's a nice site. Their picnic table is in a reasonable spot. They've got a lake view. Very nice. And they have plenty of room on each side. Here you have eight and see how the picnic table is kind of behind that and there's 10 right there nice water view sites plenty of room around them hey so this is my side profile <laughs> we're back here at home base there's rough road our class a and uh, this is our site here, let me show you this right here behind her. We have water behind us. It's yeah. nice looking out the window. American sycamore. In case you ever wondered what this kind yeah. of tree is. See, they put uh, signs on their trees. <laughs> and she's already showed you the water back there. But come on this way. We'll show you the site. Got a concrete pad. Now this is 30, 50 amp service here with water and sewer. The sewer though is at the back. Back here. So I had to use, I had to use 20 feet of hose to get there. I do have 20, actually I carry 30 feet of hose. That's our picnic table behind their camper. <laughs> our howdy neighbor picnic table. Yeah. And this is the front. And we got some concrete little pad thing here. It's underneath our rug. Here's the road. <laughs> well, our awning almost comes out onto the road. You can, like open your door to the road. Yeah, it's quite close to the road here. In fact, the, if we park our car on the pad, it's going to be in the road. Right. The dogs like it though. Yeah. So here is site 33. And you can see the picnic tables behind it. Yeah, That's not too bad. Ground. Yeah, there's the playground for the campground area up there. But you can just about see how this campground's laid out. It's pretty straightforward. One loop. <laughs> but yeah, we were afraid to put our awning out. Let me get a, a shot to show you. In case, you know, another larger RV comes by. It's like right there. I was like, do we? <laughs> it fit. And uh, we had a neighbor here with a great big fifth wheel and 
Uh, he got out fine. Yeah, but when he got out, his truck, his pickup truck was under our awning. Yeah, it did. It did. Okay, so we're going to wrap this video up from Indian Mountain State Park, Jellicoe, Tennessee. And the things we liked about this park was that we got good Verizon service. Mm -hmm. It's a nice big open grassy area. It's got four or five trails that are nice trails to walk on. Mm -hmm. They're not real up and down trails. They're nice kind of flat trails. It's just nice walking trails. And it does have a store, you know, little knickknack stuff. So, what do you want to add? I like the water. So there's water everywhere on these trails. And everywhere we walk, there's water. And it's like long, narrow bodies of water. And of course, there's a creek. I'm going to jump in here real quick and share with you how this land, how this park came about. So, in 1960, this land was acquired through an open spaces grant three organizations came together and used grant money to fund this reclamation project. So what were we reclaiming? What was done on this land originally? Well, originally this land was used as a strip mining operation. So this is just a really great example of how something that had such a negative impact on the landscape and the environment is, has a positive outcome. So now we have a park here we can enjoy. We see kids play in basketball. Uh, people out walking, uh, just really enjoying this space. It's a very peaceful setting and we're here in the fall and the leaves are just beautiful. It's gorgeous. Right. And right now it's about 73 degrees, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon in um, mid-October. And I love the fact too that there's sewer here. I know we already talked about that, but right. that's huge. I've had that washer going every day. Yep. <laughs> Getting that done. We get all caught up when we got sewer service. Right. So, anything else? Well, what I don't like about it. Ah. <laughs> dwell on the negative. I just no. say the positive and let it go. Well, when you're doing a review, you want to be able I to know. mention the good and the bad. So, okay. with this, um, this park was full on the weekend, as all parks are. That's really not a negative about this park. But the sites are some... Some of them are just awkward. The picnic tables are awkward and really bug me because they, they're like behind, <laughs> behind or in front of your neighbor's camper. Not all of them though, not all of them. And whenever, when the park is full because it's one loop and it's so tight, it almost feels like a, a gathering more than a campground. It's like if you go to a music festival and yeah. everybody puts their tent up or brings their RV and you have this big feel, that's what it looks like. There's just people in it, every single picnic table and there's extra picnic tables, I believe. So anyway, that's just one of the yeah. things that kind of bothers me. It's awkward like we showed you about how our site is set up, but there's a lot of nice sites and we're happy with our yeah. site. I love looking out my window and seeing the water behind us. So definitely not a deal breaker. The other thing is, there's not a lot of longer hiking trails here. They're not close by. It's, it's a drive to get. You know, Gary's like, I'm happy, huh? No problem. But there's nothing. Like I was looking forward to climbing Indian Mountain. Well, I guess I could go up the road. I don't know, but there, I, I don't. There's no trails close by. So if you're into trails, um, there's some nice trails here in the park. And probably if you put them all together, you might could do, maybe throw in the roads. You could probably get a four, four mile hike in, would you say? Four miles. Walking to get to them and walking back, but that would be along the roads and all. So, but they're, they're beautiful. So, do you have anything that you want to No, are say? you done with the trails now? <laughs> <laughs> so that was our trail analysis. <laughs> by Sharon alias the trail gator <laughs> so but it is a great it's a big park but the campground is just tight yeah. but there's lots of land here yeah and so it, it's pretty it's peaceful yeah it's worth a visit if you're driving through this area right so, so let's sign on off all right Let, let's cut it this is Sharon this is Gary Rough Road RV Life you like looking at freedom we'll see you on the road safe travels Bye.
how does your dog eat a bone? Tara, is it comfortable like that? It is more. Does it give you more torque, baby girl? Do you have more torque? There we go. Okay. <laughs> and Luna's over there.